Hey there, how are you? Well, I need some help. No, really, I do, I need some help. I need some help trying to figure out exactly what we need to do for the Mustang here because very, very soon I need tires. What should I get? All right, so fast forward a year since I bought the car and 23,000 freaking miles of driving from Maryland to Florida, Florida to Maryland, the back to Florida, all around everywhere else. And the Pirellis, well, they have seen better days. As you can see, there's there's hardly any tread left um, on the back here, and even more, same at the front. There's a little bit more tread on the front, obviously, because, you know, back tires spinning. Yeah, but for the most part, they, they're, they're worn out. So the thing is, these actually weren't that bad of tires. A lot of people complain because these tend to wear out quickly. Now, yeah, while they're already worn out at 23,000 miles, um, I don't think that's too bad. Considering that I drive this car, you know, not always aggressively, but, you know, I do have a lot of spirited driving, so... Yeah, I mean, considering that, I think they held up well. I mean, they wore, you know, pretty evenly. They didn't have any other crazy problems with them. In dry weather, they handled well, handled. Just all out traction when taken off, no. That's the only thing these tires were really bad at, is they could not hook at all. Um, which is a problem, you know, like as fun as it is to slide and spin the tires and stuff like that's like, you know, it is pretty fun when you're actually trying to hook and, and, you know, launch the car as aggressively as you can. That's no good. Like, you know, if you're trying to get a good zero to 60 time or, or whatever, you're just trying to get a good ET um, with, with a quarter mile run or whatever it is. If you're just trying to launch the car and all it does is spin, no, well, that's no good. So, oh, shoot, even in the snow, these tires did well, surprisingly, even though they're summer tires. These surprisingly, they did really surprisingly well in the snow, but it is what it is. 23,000 miles, they have just a little bit more life left, which is gonna give me enough time to look for the replacements. And that's the whole point of this video, because I need your help. I need your help on deciding what I should or could get. Now, like, I'm not like a tire aficionado, but I understand the importance of a tire. And I would like to get a really good set of tires. Now, with that said, I just, I don't want to spend a premium, but if I do spend a premium on with tires, I want the best freaking performance I can get. Now down here in Florida, obviously we don't got to worry about snow anymore. And we don't have to worry about cold temperatures as much. So having a, you know, running, a high performance summer tire all year round is now an option instead of having to go with some type of all season. So with that said, that is what I want. I want the best tire setup that's gonna get me still good handling, even though around here there isn't too many roads. There's still quite a few roads that are, you know, that have some turns and twisties and stuff. Not like it is up north, but there is still some roads around here. It's not just straight flat roads. So I still, ooh, excuse me, I still want to retain the handling characteristics. Um, but I need something on that back tire. This thing needs to hook when I put the pedal down. Um, even I would love to be able to, you know, brake boost it and, and launch it hard enough and for it to hook. Like if it spins a little bit, that's fine. But it would just roast these tires and leave strips all the way down through second gear until third gear and that's just no good um of course unless you have track control on but then it just messes with your time anyway so you know i've i've looked around i've done a little bit of research um like 
I had uh, the Nittos on the Cobra, the NT Triple Five. They they were not really that good. Like, okay, they did great in the rain. I will give those tires that. They freaking did phenomenal in the rain. Um, they just were not really good with anything else. Um, even that, that car had 315 uh, rear tires and in first and second gear, if I rolled into it, it just would blow them off. I mean, I get the car had a thir 430 rear gear, but even still, they, that should have did something better. Even warming them up, they didn't really perform well. Um, so I don't think I want to go that way. I understand Michelin's are really good tires and I don't doubt that. However, I understand Michelin's also wear out very quickly and they seem some, I don't know, I've heard people complaining that they, the rubber of the compound dries out and starts cracking prematurely, which I have actually kind of witnessed myself. Um, in one of our family's previous cars, it was a, a 99 Camry that always ran Michelin's. The tread life could still be more than half and the whole tire's dry rotted. So I don't know if they've changed things since then or not, but I just hate to spend three freaking hundred plus dollars a tire and that happens before the tread's actually down to a level that is replaced. So I don't know if I wanna go for Michelin's and I know Michelin's are not the best for like straight line traction but they are the best one of the best all around like you're not going to get a tire that does everything as good as that one. like the pilot sports and and all those so like the the higher tier high performance tires from michelin so i was also thinking about getting the bf goodrich comp twos um because i had the comp two all seasons on the sho and they're probably one of the best budget tire that I feel like you can get um, considering the price of tires now, they did exceptionally well. But even then, um, on an all wheel drive car, there was still spin from them tires. And that's a 20 inch um, radius tire there. So it's like, okay, well, I really don't want to do that either. So I understand there's like the Continental Extreme Contacts, you know, like a lot of people say they're happy with those. So. I'm not sure, like the Focus here has Continental tires and they're really good and they've held up, you know, they're holding up really well. So I'm not opposed to that. Uh, what else? I looked at, let's see, the Goodyear F1 tires. From what I see, like people, like they're a good tire, but they have their limits. You know, on the street, they have their limits. Same thing with the Firestone Indy um, tires. They seem like great tires, but once again, they're not as good as they appear in on the actual road and they still have traction problems. And then let's see what else. There's Bridgestone, Potenza, and there's a couple different ones, which a lot of people seem to like. But once again, unless you get, there's one particular one, I forget which one it is, but it's basically, it's an extremely aggressive tire with a super high tread wear rating. Like it, you know, wears out quickly. You know, it's like, well, I don't want to do that either because I don't want to spend $400 a tire, three, $400 a tire and it wear out. So man, this really is tough. And that's the whole point of this video. There's so many different options and tires are expensive. They really freaking are like too expensive, honestly. <laughs> so with that said, there was one set of tires that I would, I'm considering because it's, it's well known, it's well vetted for, and I feel like unless you are pushing, you know, 500 plus horsepower, which this car is not, that those tires will actually do well. And that's the Mickey Thompson's. What I was thinking was for the rear to give myself the best potential grip um, on a launch is use the good old ET Streets. Super aggressive tire. Uh, lots of just flat contact patch for straight all around traction. These are very expensive tires, um, but they do have a pretty close size um, to what's already on here. So it'd be a, a 285-35-19, which is just about the same um, sidewall profile. It is like 
just a shade smaller I mean a shade and um, obviously 285 a lot more width I'm pretty sure 285 tire will fit on here no problem I'll have to double check that but I am pretty sure um, and I think these are 10 inch wheels so that's what I'm thinking there and then on the front I would just run the uh, just regular street comp tire right um, on the front I know this is actually a pretty common Thing people do now the only problem is they only I mean they have this exact size a uh, 255 40 19 um, in the street comp I wanted to go up to a 265 the performance pack HPP uses 265s sorry not performance the handling package so it would be an extremely staggered um, tire setup still 255 up front 285 in the rear and I think that would work considering there isn't too much hand um, corners and stuff. I think, you know, I mean, as it is, the 255 does well. So I'm not running this on the track or anything or auto cross or anything where I really want the most front end grip. So that's what I'm thinking. Let me know. Are those Mickey Thompson's worth the money? Because they're like three hundred thirty dollars something actually i think the the et streets are a lot more money it's gonna be well over a thousand for a set of four tires that's just the tires and you know a couple hundred to have them mounted and balanced so if i'm spending that kind of money for tires i want the ultimate performance um so let me know is is that a good idea is that a good way to get my rear wheel you know just ultimate traction from a launch and still retain a nice tire up front for a little bit, of, you know, when I do want to take my turns. Or is there something that's just as good, but can save me some money? Any money saved is great too. So, you know, there's always that. Um, any help about this would be greatly appreciated because we're gonna have to get something real, real soon. And I'd hate to not be able to put something nice on this car and have to settle for, a normal tire again because this car is really really limited with these tires and if i get another set of tires that limit its capabilities that would sadden me so just go ahead um let me know in the comments what you think is a good tire setup for the car here um what do you personally use what you've had success with if you didn't have success with the mickey thompson's let me know and so I know which way to go about this. You know, I really need some community like help here because I'm a little in the dark, just a little bit um, with this. And it's an expensive thing to just take a guess at. So I'd like to be a little bit more informed before I spend money. So there's that. But anyway, it's gonna be it for this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with everyone you know. And if you want to see more content like this and you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Keep a lookout for the next Drew Car Enthusiast video.